When I first started um, in a very young age, I was really fascinated about physics. And a lot of that is driven by uh, the story I read about Albert Einstein. I've known I wanted to be a scientist since high school. Uh, so I've always been good at science and math, but as soon as I started doing reactions in chemistry and being able to create new stuff and being able to analyze things, that's what really got me jazzed. And so I've known since then that being a scientist was where it was at for me. If I needed to describe what I do, it's really about how do we design the adhesive, the sticky stuff, to make sure the label works under the conditions we want it to, but also how do we pick the material for the label so that it really suits the application. Getting the combinations right is actually very important for how it's going to function. There are a lot of areas that actually require you combine different scientific disciplines, from chemistry to mature science engineering, to mechanical engineering, different aspects that combine together to create a unique product offerings that our customers appreciate. In the consumer space, our customers have demands that they really want us to be able to meet. So for example, these airline baggage tags, the consumer's known or wanted to know for a long time, where's my bag, did it make it onto a plane? But it's really a company like Avery Dennison that can provide the solution. And so now you can get a ping on your phone that says, yes, your bag just arrived on the plane. That's what research and development does. That's why we exist and how we bring value to Avery Dennison. We do have a station in the desert in Arizona in the United States to test the UV exposure. We also have a test actually in England um, to dip into the seawater to make sure the shipping labels will survive if they were exposed to the seawater. Some of the biggest challenges in R&D is making sure that we are staying at the forefront all the time. It really forces us to get out and understand not only what our customers need today, but what they don't know that they need yet. We are looking for fresh new blood to continue to keep pushing the boundary of what's possible. So when Stan Avery invented the concept of a sticky label, the whole idea was how do we help our customers promote their brand? If we think about where Avery Dennison is headed and creating intelligent labels and sensing technologies, that becomes so much richer in the environment we live in today where information can be contained in a label and shared through a label. And so for people who have more creative, forward-thinking minds, it's really a good place for them to work as well because not only do they have this great foundation and tools, but Avery Dennison is focused on what do we want to be five or 10 years from now and investing in R&D to allow us to get there. I would say actually the ability to create something, it is a magic but this magic is not built up upon a black box. There are solid scientific foundation behind it, and that actually makes me feel very proud.